G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today I'm back with the ABCs of PSE. Here I am in Photoshop Elements 2021, and I'm here to show you how to use one of the tools in the toolbox. Today's letter of the day is U. If you press the U key on the keyboard, you'll activate the custom shape tool. The custom shape tool allows us to use vectors inside Photoshop Elements. That means that instead of being pixels, as we usually work on them, the shapes are vectors. So can, we can resize and play around with them without them losing quality or becoming pixelated. While we're working in a Photoshop Elements document, the shape retain their vector qualities but when we save them into another format for printing or using online they'll be rendered as a bitmap this is a great tool if you would like to use shapes for things that you think you might resize in the future or that you'd like to be able to endlessly adjust without losing quality if you repeatedly tap the letter u you will scroll through all of these different shape tools but let's stick to the custom shape for now. In the tool options bar at the bottom of the screen, there's several sections you can use to customize your custom shape. First one is the custom shape picker where you can scroll through. You can scroll through a number of different shapes and you can choose which categories of shapes from the shape drop down box. You can view your shapes as a list of shapes with a small thumbnail, a large thumbnail, a small list which has a little icon plus the text, or a large list. Let's just choose this scallop shape and then let's move on. We can add a style to our shape and we can choose the color that we'd like it to be. We can work with an unconstrained shape, meaning that we can warp it to any size or shape we like. We can have it have defined proportions so we can only pull it out in proportion we can have a defined size a defined size which will allow you to click and insert the shape at the original size as you can see that's kind of small we can use fixed size so if we want a 10 centimeter shape we can click once you know we could even have it warped to insert the shape at the size we'd like at any time you can select a shape and then click simplify and that will make the shape no longer a vector. There's a few other options. You can also choose to add shapes to their own individual layers. As you can see here in the layers panel, every single shape I've created is its own layer. Or you can choose to add the shape to the existing layer. So here we can choose to subtract it from the existing layer. So here I've just cut out the center of a shape or with this option intersection. So with exclude overlapping shapes, if I draw a new shape, any areas where they overlap are cut out from the new shape. Now, once you've finished playing with your shapes, you can always simplify the layer by clicking the simplify button or using the simplify layer option in the right click menu of the layers panel. So let me show you why you might like to use that. Right now, if I use my brush, I cannot brush onto the vector mask, or in this case, it's a shape. So as I mentioned, you can click simplify and you'll notice the little shape icon at the bottom right of the layer thumbnail disappears. And you can now grab your paintbrush and paint away on this layer to your heart's content. Now that you've learned all about the tool options for the custom shape tool, here's one way you can use it. You can use the custom shape tool to cut out a photo in the shape of that shape. <laughs> All you need to do is bring your photograph in as a separate layer and then put the shape layer on top. You can do that by dragging it in the layers panel or you can just draw a new shape on top and it will default to being above the layer that you've currently selected. And then you go to layer, create clipping mask and you'll see that the photo, the whole photo is still there but you can only see the part that is within the shape. You can add a little shadow to make it pop off the page. And there you have your photo in a shape. Of course, you can always go to layer, 
click on you, your photo and then go to layer release clipping mask and then your photos back to normal size so it can be a really useful tool the shape tool has a lot of kind of more plain shapes that you can clip use to clip your photos and you can combine all of these different shapes to create a design that you love while we're here talking about shapes let me just show you the star tool. With the star, you can customize it to as many sides as you like. And you can also customize how long the points are on your shape. You know, 20% has a different look to 70%. And you can even smooth the edges for a completely different look. So have a play around with the star tool and the polygon. It works similarly to allow you to create shapes this selection tool allows you to easily select a shape so then you can add additional shapes to that shape layer. Have I said shape enough time for it to lose its meaning yet? So have a look around, check out all the different kinds of shapes that are available in the custom shape tool. And don't forget when you press that U, you'll also scroll through the other kinds of shapes, the rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, line, and shape selection tool. The icon in your toolbox will change to be the most recent shape you've used. If yours doesn't look like this, don't worry. It'll just be showing the latest shape tool that you used. I hope this little review of the custom shape tool has been helpful. Let me know in the comments below which shape is your favorite and how would you use the shape tool in your photo editing. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you'll see all the other videos in the series. If you don't want to miss any of the ABCs of PSC, you can sign up for my email list to get a link to each new video as it comes out. Head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash ABC and I'll see you next time to talk about the move tool for the letter V. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements or digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.